Electromagnets are incredibly useful. They can do all the things a normal magnet can do, but can also be switched on and off. Electromagnets have many uses, from moving cars in a scrapyard to high-speed maglev trains. The trains are suspended above the rails by strong electromagnets, reducing friction between the train and the track. And there are many, many other uses as well. When a current flows in a wire, it creates a circular magnetic field around the wire. The strength of the magnetic field is greater. When it's closer to the wire, if the current is increased, or by adding a core that is made of magnetic material and wrapping the wire around it, this is known as a solenoid. The magnetic field around a straight wire isn't very strong, and so coiling the wire around an iron core creates a stronger electromagnet. This is sometimes known as a solenoid. We can use an iron nail to create a simple electromagnet. The strength of the solenoid electromagnet can be increased by increasing the number of coils or increasing the current. See how the strength of an electromagnet changes with the number of coils. More coils, the stronger the electromagnet, and so the more paper clips you can pick up. So that graph has the number of coils on the x-axis. How do you think the graph would look if we instead had the current on the x-axis? What would the relationship be between the current and the number of paper clips? Pause the video and have a think. They also both increase together. As the current increases, the strength of the magnet increases, and so it can pick up more paper clips. So there you have it, electromagnets are extremely useful and we can switch them on and off, as well as control their strength.